Planet Dolan. What toy set included a literal spinning metal saw blade? What toy from the 1960s could reach temperatures of over 600 degrees? From choking hazards to explosions, here are 15 of the most dangerous toys ever sold to kids. I'm Danger Dolan, and today I will be your narrator. Number 15. Aqua dots. Choking hazard can be applied to basically any toy of a certain size because kids will put basically anything in their mouths and be happy about it. But the problem with aqua dots wasn't the choking hazard, it's that they were coated in the date rate drug. The chemical that made the little dots stick together actually broke down in the body as GHB, which knocks adults unconscious, but just straight up poisons children. Two children who ingested the dots ended up comatose and one was hospitalized for five days. Number 14. The Hang 10 Mini Hammock. This is a toy that was named perfectly, just not for the reasons they wanted. Though really, it was more of a Hang 12, as in 12 children who were killed by these things by asphyxiation. One more was nearly choked to death by it, but escaped and unfortunately got severe permanent brain damage. Number 13. Rollerblade Barbie. It was actually a pretty good idea to have Barbie doll that shoots sparks out when she rollerblades. It looked cool. It also used a piece of flint to create said sparks, and as such it was real good at setting fires in places where fire generally should not be. Number 12. Model Dockyard Locomotive. The first self-propelled toy train ever made dates all the way back to 1843. It used a tiny little steam engine. Kids had to fill the tank with kerosene or alcohol and then ignite it with fire. Back then the toy trains were known as piddlers because as they moved along the ground they left a little trail of liquid behind them. Kerosene laden flammable liquid. Number 11. There are plenty of ways to make a fidget spinner dangerous if you try hard enough, but you likely didn't think lead poisoning was going to be one of those ways. A small number of fidget spinners tested dangerously high for lead content, some of which were even sold at Target. Number 10. Zulu Blowgun. The problem with the blowgun that shoots out little plastic darts likely isn't the problem you'd think. The shooting itself wasn't the issue, at least except for the kids who tried to replace the plastic darts with needles. Now the problem was with the blowing itself. Kids would inhale deeply first and end up sucking the dart through the pipe and choking on it. Number 9. Metal Playgrounds. If you grew up in a certain era, you'll likely remember how it was a pretty bad idea to go down the slide on a hot summer day, because the slide was metal and in the hot summer sun the slide was about 150 degrees and would literally give you third degree burns. Eventually they figured out playground equipment that could be used for cooking food wasn't the best choice of five year old infants. Number 8. Clackers. You may have seen the little plastic balls that clack loudly back and forth, back and forth. And today they're not dangerous. But in the 1970s, when they were first marketed as a toy, they kind of sort of exploded. When clacking them back and forth, they would frequently shatter into shrapnel like a couple of little grenades. They would often explode and fire shrapnel directly into the eyes of people playing with them. Number 7. Empire Little Lady Stove. Toy stoves and ovens existed long before the Easy Bake Oven. It's just that a lot of the toy stoves were neither easy nor safe. One such stove was the Empire Little Lady which heated up to 600 degrees. It's not even a toy stove, it's just a small version of a stove. So children can play with a stove their size. Number 6. Aqualeisure Inflatable Baby Boats. You'll never guess what the problem was with inflatable baby boats. Did you guess drowning? Yes, you, you likely did. The leg straps and the boats would tear, dropping their children into the water. Luckily, of the 31 babies this actually happened to, none of them were hurt before the product was recalled. Number 5. The CSI Investigation Forensics Lab Kit. Kids love playing detective, so a branded CSI Forensics Kit makes sense. You know, for all those kids who watch CSI every week. The kit contained dust for fingerprinting, and that dust contained asbestos, enough asbestos to cause cancer in fact. Maybe the point of the CSI kit wasn't to play detective, but the victim. Number four. A Toys R Us riding set, 1988. The adorable little submarine had everything you might need for riding and stationary work. You got scissors, a tape dispenser, a pencil sharpener, and a razor blade. You heard correctly, the hidden removable razor blade that's basically a spy weapon. You know, for children. Number three. Blast balls. There wasn't much to these things. You get two balls in a package. You smack them together. They make a loud sound like a cap gun and create some sparks. That's literally it. It's the whole toy. They didn't have time to fail because of simply being a dumb toy. The sparks started catching kids clothing on fire before the toy could die a natural death. Number two. 
power might working power tools is exactly what it sounds like these are just power tools real ones small ones for small hands but real ones uh but they're like kid safe versions of the tools right totally powered down to the point of being useless you know plastic blades and all that nah this kit came from a fully functional metal power drill, a router, orbital sander, and circular saw. An actual spinning saw blade. The saw came with an extra blade, but unfortunately not extra fingers. Number one. The U-238 Atomic Energy Lab it actually gets worse than their power tools. In the 1950s, with the advent of nuclear energy, people thought it would be a good idea for people to understand the basics of radioactivity and nuclear energy, so they just sold uranium to kids. The Atomic Energy Lab is a science kit, which actually included radioactive isotopes for kids to experiment with, came with a Geiger counter and everything. Admittedly, the radioactive material was weak, so it isn't as though it could have been used to build a bomb or anything, but it was still radioactive material for your children. Oh my god! What? Danger Dawn, did you know that we have a countdown book featuring some of our best scripts on sale now? Links down below for the physical and ebook versions. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one!